Hey guys, this is Flying Kick, and today I'm going to be talking about the 1.7 snapshot, and there is quite a bit added to this one. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and jump on in, because yes, there is a lot to cover. So, I'm going to start over here. Um, I want to talk about fishing. Now, fishing has been quite annoying for some time, which it takes a long time, and I'm to me it's not really worth it going out fishing unless I want to catch some cats and then I can breed them or trade some villagers but it's not really worth catching a whole lot or using it as a food source because we have farms and bone meal and that helps out a lot more than fish but now they've given us reasons to actually just go on in so I'm gonna start over here and yes rods are now enchantable so let's see here um, there is two new enchants the lure and luck of the sea lure which goes up to three just like here um, helps you catch fish so it's luring fish uh, luck of the sea which goes up to three as well um, helps you find items in water so that's pretty interesting. I'll talk about the new fish and um, the new items or the items you can find in the water pretty soon here. But let's start out with new fish. All right, so we got three new ones. We got puffer fish, sa salmon, and clownfish. The only one you can really cook and eat is salmon. So you get cooked salmon. You can also eat the puffer fish, but it's not really recommended. Because let me see here. Let me see if I have enough food bar to allow me. Uh, I can't eat it right now. I'll show you guys in a bit. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. But also the clownfish. There is no known uses so far. So we're going to have to wait for that. But there is a new brewing recipe. So, ooh. So I can after the awkward potion I can put a puffer fish and let's just wait for that it does take quite a bit and check out this chest we get potion of water breathing so you can breathe underwater your bubbles don't go down so here's a normal here's enhanced splash and the other splash so that is pretty cool I like that uh, let's see now with fishing we have these things that can be found in the water so let's check junk items so these are all the things that can be found while fishing um, fishing rod you can find ones that are almost broken and just I mean they're not really junk items to me except for like rotten flesh because I don't like the stuff but they're not bad things uh, fish, of course you can get the four fish and treasures, yes treasures treasures you can get lily pads, name tags, saddles um, fishing rods and bows they can be enchanted when you find them so that is pretty cool and you could, you could also uh, find enchanted books as well so I like that let's go ahead and change back and that's pretty much it for the fishing but it's very exciting to have a reason to actually go out and fish so let's check out the next one new particles you might have seen it I don't know if I accidentally showed it but when you're falling a high distance you will now show show particles around your character falling and I believe it is the higher you fall maybe yes the higher you fall the more particles there are so there's also fishing which I haven't shown you yet. let's just grab that and let's go ahead and fish now immediately immediately you notice that there is little bubbles everywhere and eventually if you weren't paying attention before see you see a fish going towards the rod so it does make it easier to actually see what the fish is about to pull on the bobber so that is really nice I do like that 
Um, and yeah, that's it for the particles. Even, see, oh, wait. Yeah. Alright, bookshelves, I don't think it's implemented yet, but they said that it is going to increase from 15 to 20, and this is how many 20 are. So, it's not bad. I always do the double layer anyways, so it doesn't affect me much. Moving on. A new achievements and statistics. So let's go ahead and that. See that? No. Um, on this one, now you can have them all separate. So if you go into the new world, you're gonna have new achievements and all that that you have to complete instead of having them save over servers and and all that. So that's cool. I like that. Uh, new achievements. We got five new ones. All right. Repopulation, Adventure Time, The Beginning, The Beginning Again, except with a, without a question mark, and Beaconator. So I'm going to let you guys just figure out what those are because it's always fun to get new achievements. Uh, let's see, Scoreboard, uh, Use of score uh, Achievements and Statistics. So you can actually have it so that achievements will give you give you a point on the side if you had a scoreboard there or statistics you can see how many times a a pick is used and stuff like that very nice you can have little competitions on how on how much people mine and all that i guess um uh different things have been added to the give command you can give players items that have a name and a lore behind it so as you can see I have a little example here and I do have one right here prepared now I named this one the chicken chaser I was when I was making this I was thinking of Link when he attacked chickens and it was forged by the love of chasing chickens so I, I like that all right, moving on. Gold and iron pressure plates. So now, before they were only activated by items, but now they are activated by entities as well. And depending on how many entities are on the uh, the pressure plates, depends on the signal. So I have villagers here. One villager. Two villagers. Three villagers, and so on. I do believe it only goes up to 15 though. I don't I want to kill them because they make so much noise and it's kind of annoying. So here is the little description of them. Gold gives you one signal per entity while iron gives you one signal per 10 entities. Now because one one entity is it gives you a signal of one um you'll have 11 you'll have to get to 11 entities to get a signal of two. So I do like this. It, um, to me, it's like a 50-50 on this. I do like the idea behind it, but I don't know. All right, so let's move on. We got some new blocks here, three to be exact. We got Podzle, which looks like this. It can be found in a new biome. Um, grassland dirt. It's like normal dirt, but grass does not spread onto it so I've had this here for a while as well as this right here and this was normal and this was um, the grasslander and as you can see this one has nothing and it's been sitting there for quite a long time because I've been building this alright so packed ice this can also be found in a new biome which looks like this if you want to see the difference here this is regular ice right here you can see through it and this is the other one now another thing to know about ice um, ice is no longer translucent when you're in the fast setting but a little side note there um, this does not melt but it still has the same properties as ice which is like slipping and all that so that's cool. I can use torches around my ice now. That is nice. 
um, we got new plants. A lot of new plants. This actually makes the terrain look really nice when you're just flying around or something. Um, so let's check them out. Red tulip, orange tulip, white tulip, pink tulip, poppy. These replace the roses. Um, blue orchid, azure bluette. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Allium and oxide daisy. So these are the new little flowers I've been added, and I don't know if this was around before, but whenever you plant or you have flowers, they're not exactly in the same place all the time. See, there's little variations in in their locations. And see, this one's like way off to the corner here, not centered. So I do like that. And moving on, we got sunflowers, which always faces towards the east. So when the sun is rising, it's facing that way. Um, lilacs, and all these right here are too high, while those are just regular one high flowers. Um, double, double tall grass, so tall grass just got taller. Uh, large fern, um, rose bush, because there's no more roses, there is a rose bush. And speaking of poppies over here that replaced roses, I believe that iron golems are going to drop these instead. I'm not entirely sure, unless they're going to drop an entire bush. And I don't want to pronounce that because I don't know how. <laughs> Peony or something? I don't know. Okay, so here is something else that has been added. When you bone meal one of these two tall areas, or flowers, plants, whatever, you can get one back. So see, now I have another sunflower, and this works with all of these, except tall grass and ferns, because those you can use regular grass right here, regular grass to get them, and ferns. But see, you can get extra items of each just like that. Very nice. Um, moving on over here. Another new feature is that flowers are now burnable. So as you can see, flower destroyed it. Very unfortunate. Alright. There is a couple new block variants. These are the silverfish. So let me check my difficulty. It's on a hard. So when I break one of these, let me copy this. When I break them, I'll get a silverfish. Let's kill this guy. Oh, wait. It's going to activate the rest. So strongholds are going to be a lot more annoying now considering they have these. All right. And let's see. Written books. It's moving on to that. Written books are now able to be copied. So let's see. We have the... We have that, just like a map, it can be duplicated, and it can also be multi-duplicated, like that, if you have just more around it. Nice little feature there. Um, item frames. Item frames have made, been made a lot easier. Um, custom named items will show their name now, when you put your mouse over the item. Also, when you just click it, it will take the item out. So I can put a sword here. Chicken chaser. Bam. So I like that. It makes it a lot easier because I've been putting items in frames and when you break it, the items fly everywhere. It's annoying. Um, Sugarcane retexture. You can see it's different. And it also changes colors depending on what biome it is in. And we also have this new command called summon. Um, I have a little example here and coordinates giving it its location. Oops. Alright, so I push this, see the creepers spawn right there. And now they've also added this feature where if you use flint and steel on a creeper, it activates its explosion. 
So I thought that was pretty funny. You can forcefully make creepers explode. Just hit them and run. Um, they fixed a lot of those severe lighting glitches like you find in terrain, like under cliffs and all that. Um, also in strongholds and abandoned mines, those lighting glitches have been fixed. The torches not giving out light. So that's that's pretty cool, I guess. So let's go ahead and go in the menu here. Um, over here I have written multiple at once. So when you go into this, you can actually select multiple resource packs at the same time because let's say you have one for sound and then let's say you have one for textures and language and so on. So this makes it very, very nice instead of having to compile everything into one. And yeah, I do like this one. Though, as you can see, I don't have anything there right now. Uh, let's see, new menu screens. So as you saw, there was this menu screen. Um, let's check the other ones. Let's see, volume controls so that's cool um, sprint key there is now a sprint key so the default is the left control so now I can run instead of having to double tap like that because sometimes you would have that pigeoning effect and that was so annoying uh, I I think they fixed it. I don't know. I can't force it. It's just something that happens in the worst times. Um, volume settings, you saw that. Now you can actually change things like this. As you can see, I set my weather to 1% because, oh my god, the rain. It is a terrible experience. And it is very loud and it is the reason why I always have my sound to zero. Um, music still can be changed. Uh, monsters, I'm probably probably going to put this at 1% as well because I do go to spawners and all that a lot. So it's annoying hearing these things. And then here's other ones. So that's that's something I like as well. Um, and I did saw, I see this right now. Super secret settings. I didn't see this before. What the heck is this? I don't rec recognize some of these sounds. Is this is this like a secret edition they're gonna have? Huh. This is actually really really cool. Whoa. Okay, I'm done playing around with that. Alright. So biome changes, we do have biome changes. Jungles now have melons. Oceans are smaller, but have gravel at the bottom. Let me see if there's some here. I believe this is an ocean. And yes, see the whole ground here is gravel. I'm not sure if you can see it well, but it's gravel. Um, and the green color in swamps now fluctuates a lot more, so you're going to have a, a lot of variety in the color in swamps. And near the shoreline of the, the swamp biomes, there's going to be staggered blocks of dirt, and it kind of looks cool. So I'll show you later on when I'm going through my, my biomes, and biomes have now been set into four categories the categories being snow covered cold medium dry slash warm so what this means is now that they're into categories they can be set so that one doesn't generate next to one that is too different so you won't be having deserts spawning next to a snow biome stuff like that and there's also sub biomes that 
help kind of transition from one biome to another. So I'm going to show you some of those in a bit. Um, I'm going to have to go look for some. But, yeah. Um, this was pretty much what I was talking about, biome positionings. So they're going to be positioned next to things that they kind of fit well next to. Uh, snow generates at high areas. So on top of... S see, as you can see up there, yes. Um, snow generates at high elevations. So down I go. And let's check out. New biomes, new biomes. Alright, I really wanted to go with this one. Um, I'm going to be stopping the video and showing you different biomes here. We have 11 in total. Yes, 11 entirely new biomes. So, yeah. Alright, guys. Um, right next to my little place there, we have this. Which is basically cliffs, cliff sides. And they're usually around an extreme hills biome that is bordering an ocean. So let me set my t my time today. And as you can see on the F3 right here it says Stone Beach. So yeah. Now let's let's go find another one. Alright guys, this is the second one on the list. Um this is an Extreme Hills biome, but it's called Extreme Hills Plus. Now the only difference between a regular one and this one is that this one contains spruce trees. So you'll just see them spread all about. I'm pretty sure that's what, I'm pretty sure this is still a Extreme Hills biome over here. And you can see on the F3 it says plus right at the end. And that's pretty much the only addition to this one. So moving on. Alright guys, I found a third one. Now, can you guess what this one is? I took down the F3 so you wouldn't see. And yeah, it looks pretty much like planes, right? But if I turn around... Alright, so did you see all that, all that yellow? This biome is called Sunflower Plains. So it's just the plains biome with a whole lot of these sunflowers just roaming about. <laughs> so it looks nice. I like it. And look, in the natural over here we can find some rose bushes. But yeah, that's it for that one. It's pretty much all it has. And speaking of flowers, plants, I think we found the fourth one. Uh, okay, this one is called, um, wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, this one is called Flower Forest, I believe. And you can kind of see why, can't you? <laughs> the ground is littered with tons and tons of flowers. So there's the F3, it says Flower Forest. If I move a little bit forward, it, now it's just a plain forest. So that is kind of cool that we were able to find two right next to each other. Man, that's a cool mountain formation though. But yeah, moving on to the next one. Alright, the fifth one we actually already saw. But it's basically the oceans. Um, And yes, the difference is that the ground here is it now all gravel so if I middle button button push then I get my gravel they're also a lot deeper as you can see wow it's let's check the F3 yeah see it says deep ocean and it is at 36 Ooh. so you going underwater now will really feel like you're going underwater in an ocean man that'd be cool if, it, if we can have like marine wildlife of some sort underneath there. But yeah, that's another one. There's another stone 
Stone Beach. But let's continue looking around. Alright guys, number six on the list is this one right here. Now, it looks like a normal forest, but you only see birch trees. Yes, this is a birch forest. A birch forest hills. Hmm. Huh. So, if you love birch trees, this is going to be your favorite place. I think it looks really nice, though, with the, the contrast and everything. Though, I probably wouldn't build here, honestly. It's not my cup of tea. But, let's move on. Alright guys, now, this isn't a new biome, of course. This is a swamp. But I did want to show the different variations within it. So, is, if you look at it here, you can actually see different colors of green just spread about. And now, near shorelines, like such as these you'll see little blocks just thrown about right here they're all staggered but yeah it, it just adds something to um, to this place alright moving on alright guys I found another one it took a while but this one is called Dark Forest or Roofed Forest. And as you can see, there are mushrooms here too. Giant mushrooms. And let's see, the ground is dark. These trees are really thick. Kind of cool actually. And yeah, if you, if you come down here, you can pretty much have mobs spawning. Maybe. It seems dark enough. See right here would be a perfect spot for, for mobs and all that. But yeah, this is pretty amazing. If you look at it from here. And then right here in the middle, there's a nice plains biome. Oh, I found more of it. There we go. But yeah, as you can see, there is no awkward transitioning so far. Like, it nicely goes with another biome, see? So everything is just... Uh, the terrain is being rendered so much better than it used to be. And that's it for that one. I believe that's all there is here. It's just weird looking trees. Makes it look kind of cool. Um, giant mushrooms. And so on. Let's go find another one. Alright guys, I found another one and this one is probably one of my favorite ones out of the new ones. Um, so here's number eight. And this is the savanna. So the ground kind of looks like that deserty type. And if we keep going around, you can see these trees, they're completely different. They're like slanted and oddly shaped but it's just a combination of leaves and some jungle tree and then we have these these plateaus right here see savanna plateau so yeah wow this is a cool biome Alright, though so this is not a new biome, it is just um, a little addition to to this biome, like a sub-biome, but it's a desert hills. And as you can see, they're like desert mountains. And they have these nice overhangs like that. But I just wanted to show that. I also want to show off this awesome cave here. Never seen a cave like that. Alright guys, I haven't found another one yet, but I found this. Wow. 
This is a monster of a mountain. Yeah. And as you can see, the highest it goes, <laughs> look at that floating tree, the highest it goes is 227. Wow, that is crazy. Um, you'll see more of this, but in a different version. So, wow. Pretty sure that's a glitch. Alright guys, I found another one. This is number 9 on the list. It took quite a bit to find, but I found it. Um, this is the Redwood Forest, or also known as the Mega Taiga. So, you can see that, that, um, Podzol we found earlier is around these grounds. We also have these little structures. They're supposed to be like boulders, mossy boulders, just spread everywhere. So, there's a new source of a lot of mossy cobble. Very nice. And as you can see, there is no grass really. It's basically all dirt. This dirt is special. It cannot grow grass on it. Um, I don't think it is um, accessible by people. I Meaning, actually, let me ch let me check something. I want to check if you can pick that up with a maybe a tool of some kind so let's get the silk touch and then I'll try one without the silk touch as well Oops. all right so game mode zero okay so I got this dirt here I know this is, you can grab that with Silk Touch, and here we do have have some, some dirt. I'm going to grab some of this instead. Oh, no. See, it transformed, it transformed back into regular dirt. Because or else I wouldn't be able to pick that up, considering this is regular dirt. Oh, so... Yeah, um, the wiki did say the only way to get it is through the give command. So I would be like, give pancake. Um, three, one, one. So see, it didn't stack, and this is the one that does not stack, or does not grow grass on it. This is the... Oh man, I forgot. Grasslands. Grasslands dirt. Alright. So that is it for that. I mean, look at that. That's this is an awesome biome, by the way. Having mossy cobble everywhere. These huge trees. Look at these trees. They're four wide. I mean, two wide. Four blocks on each layer. So that is plenty of wood. I love spruce wood because I don't know. It just looks great, and it expands for quite a bit. But I uh, I love it. Um, these last three are just hard to find. They're, there's rare biomes within biomes, and this is one of them. Um, we have two more to go. But yeah, man, it's, it just keeps getting better and better. So, see you then. Alright guys, I found another one, number 10 on the list, and this is what it is. Yeah. If you're wondering, this is all clay. All clay. Um, this is called Clay Canyon. Um, Mesa. Mesa Plateau's up here. And I believe this is more of that dirt that does not grow, go, grow grass. But wow, look at that very colorful it looks really weird honestly very weird just looking at this wow 
but yeah, this is pretty much all the all the clay you're ever gonna need. Let's see how deep it goes. Yeah, you're gonna have clay for days if it goes down that low in this entire area. Wow. Yeah, this is really cool. <laughs> um, it's also being referred to jokingly as Disco or Disco Mountains or something. Yeah, you can see all over the place there's these little dead shrubs. Man. Awesome, awesome. But that's that's it for that one. Let me check. What is this hardened? Yeah, hardened clay. And then from here you can stain them whatever color you want. So you don't even have to go through a smelting process. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're down to one more. Let me go look for it, and hopefully I can find it. Hey guys, I have finally found number 11 on the list. Um, it took quite a bit of time, but that's okay. Uh, this is actually a really weird biome because it's it kind of ranks up there with Cray or Clay Canyon. So yeah, let's look at it. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Um, this is Ice Mountains. It's also called Ice Spikes or something, I believe. But this is a fairly small biome. Generally, they're a lot bigger than this. But even seeing one is pretty amazing. It's it's a very rare, rare biome. As well as the Redwood Forest and Clay Canyon. Also, I found out that the flower one is also extremely rare. But yeah. We only have one more thing on the list and that is the amplified amplified world type. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new world and I will show you exactly what that is and it's gonna blow you out of the water. Alright guys, I created the world and Yeah. Look at this. Wow. Right off the bat. Now What's different? Um, basically, yes, everything is amplified. Look at it. We got mountains, super tall. Let me look at this. Wow, we are at 160 height-wise. Um, let's continue on. Let's see. Oh, what's this? Nothing. gonna load this for a bit hopefully we can find something awesome but yeah as you can see everything is just amplified this is a plains biome and look how high it is it is well into the 100s 104 and wow look at this structure right here and you're just gonna see this everywhere Oh look at this nice oh my god it keeps going up Let's see where are we at we're into the 200s right here 220 yeah And that is sea level over there. Way down there is sea level. So, wow. Oh my god. Whoa. No, look at this one. We are hitting the top of the world. This is 1 or 254 on top of this. 
Oh my god. Let's look at this mountain. Yeah, look at that. It's completely floating. It's just right there. And it goes down and down and down. And look down here. This is simply amazing. Though it does look a bit choppy, guys. Yes. Um, this is a snapshot. Very recent. So we are expecting upgrades. Probably going to make it look a lot better. But man, this is crazy. Well, yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. The choppiness. Yeah, see? It's all broken up. It looks like a chunk is missing there, kind of. But yeah, this is outrageous. 150. Yeah. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um... I would love you guys to to play with the, with the snapshots because they are so much fun, there's so much added and it's just a great time and if you like this video please like if you really liked it I would like a subscription um, but yeah that's pretty much it I'll keep you guys updated if any more snapshots come out check out the new things they hopefully might add maybe new animals and such but yeah bye